We live in a world and it's cursed But our generation won't have separation We're fearless Shalom. So Brandon, Brandon, and Tyler, we're auto bag baby. Yeah, man. Auto bag. And we're at the shop today, and we're gonna do a bit of a shop tour, showcase our sleds, mm -hmm. good little video. Show, show you guys the setup. Yes. Let's do it. So this is our little shop. We really only use this section here. This is for oil. We got our new stereo. It's not bad by insignia. We got some what is it, dolly. Uh, what do you call these? Yeah, just sled dollies. Light bulbs for this fucking old piece of shit. And we got uh, you know some sensory going on here, of course. Sensory. There's some big fucking milkers right there. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> But we got your calendar counting down the days. Yep. So we put up these shelves ourselves. Sturdy. Very nice. A little garbage can for a trash. We got the old piece of shit one we were, we're using. It's good though in case, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah. Take them that way, run in or somebody. This area is mainly what my brother uses. It's just for restoring an old truck. Yeah. We're gonna get a workbench set up in here soon. Yep, we got all the sleds lined up, all uncovered. Place to work on our sleds. We got a little table here that, yeah, we just chill out and... And hopefully we get to clean off this area and, here. And yes. a beer fridge to come, that's a must. We need a beer fridge in here. Yeah. Depends what fridge though, Bud Light or Molson? Molson. 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 Good Molson. Molson beer fridge. But we hope to clean up this area for a workbench area, because that's like oil and stuff. Also today we're putting up... We're putting up... Coat hooks. Co yeah, coat hooks. We're putting up... I think two for each, one for helmet, one for coat, just in case, for instance, when we get back from a ride or something, then we want to chill. Just hang them up and chill in the table here or something, and then take our stuff home so it doesn't get stolen. Yes. Carpet laid. Fucking nice, we had to level that with plywood. Yeah, the, uh, the concrete was all broken and shit, so we laid plywood and carpet on top so the slides have something nice to rest on. Fuck yeah. So we got some shelves to put up in the future. The coat hooks today. Yeah. We might show some of that. Probably. We'll show we'll show a lot of stuff here. This is gonna be fun here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be super We're fun. Snow in maybe a few days. Yeah, it's supposed we'll, to snow. We'll I don't know do if another, it'll stay. Uh, what, ripping a shitty video part two? Yeah. Except on the on the <laughs> viper. On, on the, the viper. viper. On the viper. Well, you're summit. Gotta hear the turbo. Of course. We gotta hear yours breath, because you showed me that video and it was super deep. That was so deep. It was so deep. Yeah, we'll get a good breath and going. Hey guys, Brandon with AutoBank, along with Brendan and Tyler. So in today's video, we'll be showcasing each of our sleds that we'll be using for the season. We'll start first, got a 2009 Speedy Summit. Got an aftermarket wrap on it. Not much aftermarket in the front besides the wrap. I got these hand guards that we just put on about two weeks ago. We got an aftermarket tunnel. Tunnel bag here, smooth. It's all speedy stuff, speedy with snow flaps. Uh, got electric start, new belt, new spark plugs. It's pretty much ready to go for the season. I would start it up, but I forgot my key. It's got the 154 track with two and a quarter inch lugs. Yeah. And it's only got about 1100 kilometers on it, which is pretty low for 2009. So I'll show you the inside. Nice and easy panel removal. Yep. So in here we got an MBRP race cam that was in it when I bought it. Looks really clean in there. It's pretty much the only aftermarket thing I want to show because in the front you got the spare belt and in the other side you got the clutch. So that's all I really want to show for this sled. We'll move on to Brendan's sled. Hi. It's Brendan from Autobang and 
Today I'm going to show you my 2019 Summit XP with an 850E tech. First I'll start off with my wrap here. I got a custom blue and black wrap from Fun Motorsports in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. She real sex. Highly recommend checking them out. Great products, awesome service. Also got a box full of uh, threes there. You want to zoom in on that? Those are adjustable, right? You betcha. Uh, Already set for Saskatchewan. Awesome. I've got custom color ski hooks there, uh, ski hooks there to match the wrap, and um, custom bumper as well. Bit of a unique bumper. You don't see many of these out on the trails, out here, anyways. Really nice. And I see you got a minor skid plate. You bet. Take a hit, maybe hit a small tree. Won't, won't do much. Let's head to the back. Check out the track. I've got a bit of a custom, uh, I've got a custom track here with three inch lugs, and as you can see, it has a bit of spacing for the mountains, so this thing will ha handle quite well in the mountains. Not bad. If you want, I'll go to the other side and tip it over. If you want a better look there. Very lightweight. Very. Yeah. So I've got some ice scratchers. You bet. Got some colored rails. Come up here, we got uh, we got a shot start system, so that's pretty nice. Save you from pulling the sled in minus 40. It gets pretty cold out here in Saskatchewan. And um, yeah, I guess we can probably move to the cam. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my key with me, so I can't start it up. But in some of the other videos, you can can uh, take a look at. It has a couple yeah, sound like clips. Yeah, shitty. Yeah, when I hurt the shitty there, I'm the fucking shitty. grass. And we have all those videos on Instagram, Twitter, and whatnot. But you can check out in the description. Yes. <laughs> Quit looking. So I got a GGB Mountain can. Picked up from Fun Motorsports in Saskatoon. That was fun to put in. Good price, good know. deal. Easy installation. I actually installed it ourselves, so. And it looks super good in there. Matches really well with the, the all black. Came black. with instructions in the box, so it wasn't wasn't too bad. It took about three hours to install it. Probably didn't need to take that long, but it's in there and ready to go. Sounds great. Pretty happy yes. with it. Got any some got any good departments or something? You betcha. Compartments, I meant to say, not departments. Yeah, yeah. Oh, got a small compartment here, just in the front. Not too big, but I mean it's it's enough to hold you a couple got things. Got your phone in there. That is so handy, dude. Very handy. Come back back here one more time. I'm actually gonna. I think we'll get in a tunnel bag here. I got a bunch of hooks to yeah, actually put on, uh, brackets. put on a jerry can and a tunnel bag. So yeah, you got plenty of room. It's man. definitely a good investment for the future, for sure. Super nice. And you got the midget good. seat. What's that? Got the midget seat and yeah. some custom boards, pretty side small, boards. Pretty small seat. Probably be mostly standing up on this thing. So these look like Summit X rail boards. There actually, yeah. Not SPs. Oh, like they said, it was built to a Summit X uh, standard, so I, if anything, I'd say it's just pretty like close to an X, if not a little more than what the X has. But Super Dece. So that's about everything for now, and um, and we're yeah, gonna get a shot. Wait, can't wait for the snow, and can't wait to get you guys some videos of us working on all three of these machines. And Let's give her one more tip. It'll be an incredible, incredible season. Yay! Wow. Not bad. Right on its side. You're gonna shit on Not the snow. Holy crap. We've seen a lot of that this winter. Definitely. It's gonna take a bit of practice, so I'm sure you'll see some blooper videos. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're gonna fuck up a lot. Definitely. I forgot. Very important information here. This is a 154 inch track. That's crucial. You guys need to know that. And I forgot to mention that I also have 10 hours left to break the sled in. And once it's broken, I'm gonna ride this thing like a bitch. A little bitch. Like a little bitch. <laughs> Can't wait. It's not bad though, it's a good sled. No. Yeah. It's a 2019, yeah, it better be good. I'm sure you don't want to show them this side at all, like in there maybe. That side? Yeah. No, it's not where the extra golf is. They don't want my demo kit. I don't know. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Let's show you guys where the golf is. Double cut. On this side, we got the oil. Got the spare the belt oh, the and the tools necessary for changing. I believe that is. I am not sure. I'm trying to talk. Sorry, I got a viper. I'm trying to speak. Oh, oh. That's strong power, not fucking too strong. <laughs> hey, oh, South Marlboro, man. Got my uh, 
my 2016 Yamaha Viper MTX with a 190 MPI turbo built in, which is pretty sick. I have, first of all, I'm gonna start, I have these custom ski hooks, which is super sick, and these, and the whole uh, frame is uh, not stock, this is all custom. I got Fox Floats 3, three of them, two on the front, one in the middle back here. You can see nice custom wrap. It's pretty unique. You probably won't see much of them anywhere else. And I have a custom windshield, which is pretty snazzy. As we come this way, these boards, custom boards, which is pretty cool. And then another custom bumper. And I have a nice big Yamaha tunnel bag for some, you know, cold ones or some food or sandwiches. And yeah, just this. Just got the mud flap and then my track. There are 2.6 inch lugs. And the rail, I don't think that's custom, I'm pretty sure. My track is 141. Good for Saskatchewan, pretty solid. Yep. And I got the big seat, it's a snazzy. And uh, yeah, there's not much to it, honestly. It's got LEDs, and I'll show you that when I get in there. Yeah, he's the only one that remembered his key. The only one that remembered the key. Well, I might as well show you, I don't have a, like a can, I have a whole new exhaust system. It's a handle exhaust, which is pretty cool. I have a whole handle exhaust. Fuck yeah. Which is really nice. And if you almost forgot to say, yeah, back here. I have my other Fox float back here, which is pretty cool. And I don't need ice scratchers or real stiffeners because of my track size. Yep. And yeah. So, what do you think? Should I give her a turn on? Yep. Oh, aerial. Girl, short from this side. Right. Both sides. Yep. Decent plus on a 2019 one. It's, it's for, for 2019. The for the season. For the season. For the season. I'm a fucking degenerate sometimes. Well, that was about it for today. Showing you guys our little shop area, little barn, our sleds, stuff like that. Expect a lot more. Check out over our links in the description. Like, subscribe, share, hit the notification button, please. And uh, yeah, should be a good one. Yeah. Get back. Get back. <laughs> hey, Brennan, clean it now. <laughs>